Day 18 Entrusting my spiritual battles to the Holy Spirit Pray wholeheartedly in union with Mary Prayer to the Holy Spirit O Spirit Divine, Spirit of peace and joy, reinforcing my thirsting heart with divine might, I drink of God's living fount and His love and joy, confirmed in strength and fearless for the fight. O Spirit Divine, my soul's most welcome guest, to you I wish to keep faith and pledge my fidelity for happy days and when by torments oppressed. O Spirit Divine, stay always beside me. From the Gospel according to St. John If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. From the Diary of St. Faustina At times of peace, the soul makes an effort just as it does in times of battle. It must exercise strenuously, otherwise there is no chance of winning. I consider times of peace as times to prepare for the victory. The soul must be vigilant all the time. Vigilance and once again vigilance. The soul that thinks things over receives much light. A distracted soul is in danger of falling and should not be surprised when it does fall. O Divine Spirit, Director of the soul, wise is he whom you have exercised and trained. But silence and recollection are necessary for the Divine Spirit to work in the soul. O oh my Jesus, although dark night engulfs me and dark clouds conceal my horizon, yet I know that the sun has not stopped shining. O oh Lord, although I cannot comprehend you and do not understand your work, yet I trust in your mercy. Prayer of Entrustment O Mary, Spouse of the Holy Spirit, by listening carefully to the voice of God all the time, you strengthened your soul for all kinds of suffering that may come your way. You allowed the Holy Spirit to lead you through so many spiritual battles that none of us can even imagine. However, amidst suffering and persecution, 
you never doubted in God who is love and mercy itself. On the contrary, precisely at the very heart of your spiritual struggles, you discovered His mercy through faith. You discovered that mercy has embraced you and upheld you at every moment of your life. O Mary, today I entrust all my spiritual battles to you. Be with me when I struggle between faith and unbelief, between hope and doubt. May the Holy Spirit strengthen me with the gift of fortitude, so that concentrated on Him, I may emerge victorious from every spiritual battle, and precisely there, experience His mercy. From Psalm 86 O God, the arrogant have risen against me, a ruthless band has sought my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in mercy and truth. Turn to me, be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the son of your handmaid. Jesus, I trust in you. Mary, to you I entrust myself.